Okay, hello and welcome to Combat Mission Shock Force 2. This is a, another combat mission game. This uh, time it's uh, set in modern times. Uh, it deals with a NATO invasion of uh, Syria. Um, but it's got nothing to do with the present day conflict in Syria. Uh, so there's nothing political about this. This game came out way before that. Uh, the real world conflict conflict even started so uh, this time I am playing as the uh, Syrian army and I'm going up against uh, some unconventional forces uh, insurgents uh, whatever you want to call them um, I'm command of a mechanized infantry company so I have uh, Three platoons consisting of uh, mechanized infantry squads with uh, BMP ones, and I also have a. That's the company commander. This is a scout platoon with two BMP ones and a, a couple of scout squads, as well as an ATGM team. This third platoon, I believe, yes. Uh, I also have a fourth platoon consisting of uh, machine gun teams as well as an anti-air anti -air team which I will well it won't be uh, very useful in this battle and I have uh, another machine gun platoon so all in all I have uh, four eight machine gun teams uh, I also have um, a mortar battery consisting of three 120 millimeter mortars that are on map uh, and I also have a off map mortar battery, heavy mortar battery as well so I uh, I have two forward observers since uh, each forward observer can only uh, deal with uh, one artillery battery, uh, battery at uh, the same time so I want to be able to call in uh, several fire missions uh, at the same time. Uh, I've got some heavy backup with these uh, T72 M1s so they can uh, put down some uh, heavy supporting fire. Uh, did I not tell them to open up? There we go. Now the enemy will uh, definitely have uh, anti-tank weapons. The most, the biggest um, threat will be the anti-tank guided missiles, which there will be, I guess, quite a few of. Uh, the enemy might also have uh, some recoilless rifles like the SPG-9, and probably a metric ton of RPG-7s. So I, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful about uh, exposing and moving my moving my uh, vehicles around. Uh, the I'm not gonna lie, this is going to be very difficult uh, because most of my troops are either green or conscript. There's some regular squads. This one is green, green, green. I think there are a couple of conscript squads. As yeah, here we go, conscripts. So actually the enemy won't be the biggest uh, problem in this battle, it's gonna be my own troops because uh, once they come under enemy fire they will be very uh, quick to well break down basically. So it's gonna be important to have the platoon and uh, company commanders close to the troops. I also don't want to spread them out too much. Uh, so that's definitely going to be the the biggest issue with this battle is my own troops. Uh, the enemy troops won't have as good training, military training, but they do have better morale. They are basically fanatics, I guess you could say. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really tough. Uh, Looking at the terrain, this is prime anti-tank weapon country. Uh, 
open terrain all around. Uh, so any uh, anti-tank weapons deployed up on the these hills on the enemy side of the map are going to uh, make short work of my my vehicles, even my tanks. Uh, um, enemy ATGMs are basically going to be one shot, one kill, uh, and even against my tanks, as I said, because they don't have the explosive reactive armor. So uh, if they take a hit from an ATGM, it's uh, it's good night basically. So I have to be really, really, really careful about moving my vehicles around. So I need to uh, establish. A position for the infantry uh, before I even move my vehicles up. Uh, so there are three victory locations, two minor, which is uh, South Road, uh, the village in the center, and the there's one major victory location which is the bridge. So I'm gonna have to cross a uh, it's like a riverbed with um, just a little bit. It's small. It's like a small stream, and there's some uh, soft terrain, probably mud, which won't make it easy for any vehicles to try to get through. So the infantry is basically going to have to assault across the riverbed. Guess if I could, I would like to have them. Uh, do that as close to the bridge as possible. And I'm going to be careful about moving any vehicles. I don't think I'll even move any vehicles across the bridge. But it, well, first of all, I'd, I won't need to because they would be able to support the infantry from the uh, village. Um, and I don't want to lose a vehicle on the bridge itself, which would uh, block, block it for any other vehicles. I think that's gonna be fine. Um, so the enemy definitely has an advantage in this, not only because of its troops, but um, also the terrain. The enemy is almost in a reverse slope defense. So I have to come up with a uh, a plan for this. Um, this is also, I should say, a, a quick battle, randomly generated. So I don't have control over the enemy troops, what, what the enemy troops consist of. But uh, in my experience, we are most definitely going to see quite a lot of uh, anti-tank weapons. Even the uh, recoilless SPG-9 would be a one-shot, one-kill on uh, at least the BMP ones, maybe on the T72 tanks, RPG sevens uh, also probably going to be one shot, one kills against my vehicles. So um, yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, so I think what I will do. Are two hills on my uh, or some elevation on my side of the map? I wish I want to control. I'm not gonna follow the road, which uh, probably some experienced, inexperienced, sorry, inexperienced troops would do. But uh, that's uh, that's a very bad idea. I'm not gonna do that. So definitely, I have some. Um, some cover from the prying eyes of the enemy. Most of my troops are in uh, defilade behind the the hills. Oh, there's actually a fourth victory location, the year uh, road to the west, which is a uh, a minor victory location. I'm gonna take a look at the terrain a bit in a bit more detail. See how I wanna go about doing this. So 
so there's uh, most likely going to be enemy troops present in all of the victory locations which means that the on the left flank there's probably going to be enemy forces so that that's a bit of a problem since uh, I want to take control of this hill well I guess maybe I could do that without exposing my troops to the, the west uh, road uh, victory location there's really no good way of uh, moving my troops without being caught out in the open by the enemy but I don't want to do a uh, rush across open ground if I can avoid it I guess the right flank doesn't have all that much concealment from the enemy hill the north but I guess if I can keep my troops so they are in deflate from um, the other victory locations and only have eyes on the the big hill to the north as I said that's gonna be pretty good because then I uh, could basically engage any enemies up on that hill uh, specifically anti-tank weapons and then uh, I might be able to focus a bit more on the other victory locations but as you can see there's not much uh, cover or concealment at all I guess there's uh, some trees close to the west, uh, west road victor location but not nearly enough to uh, conceal my troops I'm definitely going to have to use my uh, mortars uh, to put down some uh, smoke barrages cover the advance of my troops Well, now that I f think about it, maybe I do want to go the go through the west objective. Might not be too bad, actually. We we'll conceal me from this uh, second hill to the northwest, uh, but I will still be. Maybe hugging the hugging the end of the map here to the west. Be all that bad. Yeah, that, this looks like it probably would be the best route to take. And then um, assault into the village from this uh, wooded area. I think that's gonna be the where I'm gonna focus my troops. And I guess I could get up on this hill just so I can uh, get some eyes on the west road victory location and put down some. Uh, pressing fire and then quickly move uh, my troops up to the wooded area so I think that's, um, that's probably what I'm going to do yeah. um, that is how I'm going to do this okay so let's set this up We'll move the tanks out of the way. Battalion HQ as well. Um, might have the scout platoon actually take up positions in this building. The building has um, walls or or have been destroyed, but. Uh, 
hopefully I won't be too exposed to the enemy I don't think I'll be able to see anything from these buildings well I might got get ice on the hill in northeast so I might actually deploy a uh, scout squad on the roof of this uh, building so let's do that, that's the HQ you know what, I'll actually take uh, the ATGM team uh, and put them up on the roof as well um, guess they could do some uh, good point fire on uh, buildings and uh, weapon enemy weapon teams so let's have um, let's have the scout squad and the scout platoon commander dismount and we'll have them start uh, moving up towards the building. I think they should be in defilade basically all the way. And those uh, diesel engines on the T-72s are pretty loud. I'm gonna have them move at a standard pace. No way, no need to uh, have them hunt all the way up to the building but I'm going to set a hunt command up to around here and then I'll have them crawl into the building itself put them on the bottom floor and we'll have the Recon Platoon Commander move up as well. I don't think I'll place them in the building, but I'm gonna have them close by at least. Now the first squad, um, Recon Squad and the ATGM will take up positions in these uh, buildings over here. I wanna place the ATGM this second building and the scout squad in this building so let's have them go up to the roof have them face that way and we'll have the ATGM move into the second building also set up on the roof so from here they should have a yeah clear line of sight to uh, the hill to the northeast. That should be good. I'll keep the BMPs uh, back. I don't want to move them into view. And now the machine gun platoon. Uh, guess it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to place them on this building as well but I'm going to have uh, on a bunch of, I don't want to bunch up my troops much best thing would be to have them deploy on this hill they are going to be very exposed in doing so mm, okay Let's actually set up the fire missions for the mortars. Have this do a linear target across the West Road victory location. We'll do a light, a light mission with uh, medium duration. We'll 
take a personal air burst. Go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I have to think about this. Can he actually command all three of them? No, he can only command one mortar. Okay, so that's no. There we go. Shift click. Okay, so that's okay. That's good. That's good. However. Okay, let's let's take a look at this if I can uh, just do a mission have a long personnel firm. I have him call in a second mortar. Yes, I can. Okay, so that's uh, that is excellent. That is what I want because I want all my three mortars firing at uh, different locations. Uh, and have the off map. Heavy mortars also firing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, which one of these are most experienced? Uh, both of them are green. Okay, so let's uh, let's grab these forward observers, and we'll have one. Mortar engaging the West Road Victor location. We'll set it to light, medium duration, air burst, confirm. And we'll set a second mortar to uh, not a point. Let's do a, another linear target. Have it fire on the village in the center. Uh, set medium, medium personnel, confirm, and I'm gonna have the third mortar fire this hill, let's do a light, medium, air burst, confirm, so we're putting down some mortar fires, And I guess I could take the off map mortar, the off map uh, mortar um, platoon or a battery firing a linear target on the northeast hill just to press or hopefully uh, destroy any. Um, enemy anti-tank teams that's all good I'll, I'm going to have to um, move the forward observers up uh, so let's grab uh, first platoon they are going to lead the assault come on Uh, I'll move them all at the same time. Here we go. Okay, so first platoon is going to uh, lead the bolt. So I'm going to uh, name a couple of locations. Uh, so this. This wooded area, which uh, is going to be where I staged the assault from, is going to be Objective Bravo. I think I want to have this hill be object Objective Alpha. Uh, this hill, though, it, it, I think my troops will be very exposed on this hill. Okay, so the wooded area is um, going to be objective alpha. And for the scout platoon, uh, 
Uh, let's call this building Objective Bravo. Makes it easier for me and hopefully for you as well to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, assaulting the village, that's not gonna be fun. But hopefully I will be able to get fire superiority on any enemy the uh, enemy machine guns and uh, anti-tank teams on the the hills on the enemy side of the map. At least that's the idea. Okay, so first platoon. Uh, where's second platoon? That's third platoon. Here's uh, second platoon. I'm not too worried about um, punching quads. Um, Punching him up. Uh, I'm not expecting any enemy artillery. They might have uh, some medium mortars, but um, that's not a given. So now these machine gun teams. I think I'll hold the machine gun team or the machine gun platoon back, and then if uh, I take contact up on the hill to the northeast, I'm going to uh, move some machine gun teams up on the roofs of these buildings. Uh, and I'm going to move the I'm going to move the weapon platoon. That's the recon platoon. This is the weapon platoon. I'm going to have them move with the rest of the forces. So hopefully I'll be able to set them set them up set them up on the side of this hill, so they can fire into. Uh, Objective Alpha. Yeah. Well, I think that's uh, the gist of it. So I'm gonna move my troops around a bit. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here and uh, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, in the next part, hopefully I'll start the battle. So I hope to see you then.